unplug or not to unplug? That is today's question. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry guys, I had to. Anyhow, uh, um, I had a request to uh, explain. <laughs> I'm sorry guys. <laughs> um, I had to. Uh, I had a request to explain uh, ELD use from, uh, I believe it was Fritz Duval. Uh, well, let's pull it up real fast so I can go over the questions real quick. Let's see. By the way, guys, thank you everybody for all your questions, all your support. Uh, greatly appreciated. Here it is. Yes, Fritz, my man, here's your video, bud. I'm gonna explain some things for you guys. Um, his question is uh, about personal conveyance mode in a hot shot. First off, it doesn't matter hot shot or big truck, the rules are all the same. Um, but he wants to know uh, when in PC mode, should you guys unplug your e log or not unplug it? And also because it's counting the if the miles. Um, and do you do a pre and post trip in PC mode? And also um, running short hauls under 100 air miles, do you unplug the ELD and use time slips and paper inspections? So let's get into that real fast, all right? Number one, you do not unplug your e log for any reason, okay? Uh, there's a legal reason that I'll explain here in just a second on why you want to always keep that plugged in. But number one, it's a commercial truck. You have registered this as a commercial truck. Whether you are CDL or non-CDL, you are operating in a commercial capacity. Therefore, that e-log is required by DOT standards and it needs to be plugged in at all times. That is the reason why there is a personal conveyance option. Whether you're going to the movies or you're going to go get groceries, whatever the case may be, you need to always have it plugged in. Never unplug your e-log. The legal reason why, besides the DOT rules on why you want to have your e-log plugged in at all times, is very simple. In the event that you get into an accident, whether you hit somebody or somebody hits you, that e-log places you in that position, that current position, legally. So, you're home, you're going to get groceries, uh, it, you, you, you forget to put your e-log in and you forgot to put yourself in PC in a lawsuit in court you can lose this battle because you are not legally allowed to be in that position because you do not have your logbook active in any use and you are not on personal conveyance um, this is uh, uh, an unfortunate situation but it's very easily overcome simply when you get home you do your post trip inspection you put yourself on personal conveyance for the entire time that you're at the house so every time you're running around and be bopping for the entire weekend or week or however long you guys are staying home a couple hours couple days keep it in personal conveyance and remember to pull yourself off personal conveyance when you leave the house um, if the miles if the miles on personal conveyance yes it's going to count your miles but for the most part it's going to benefit you uh, reason being is because most likely you don't have your trailer attached to you yes you're getting more miles in that state but you're also getting better miles per gallon which is going to offset your if the taxes um, I will attach a link in the description for uh, a page that explains that aspect of it when it comes to the if the miles and, per and personal conveyance. But yes, you have to leave it plugged in. You have to put yourself in personal conveyance. I know it's a drag, but it's what you have to do and it's only going to save your own butt. If you don't want to do personal conveyance and you'd rather unplug the box, you do so at your own risk. Um, but just simply use another vehicle and if you don't have another vehicle then just put yourself on PC when you get home you don't have to worry about it till it's time to leave uh, which basically answers the hundred air mile question uh, you have this set up there is on most e-logs there should be a, uh, a local exemption or, or, or um, what they call a 16 hour exemption that you should be able to activate depending on which logbook you guys are using uh, but realistically, it doesn't really matter because it's still going to count against your 70. It's uh, it's, it's it's still going to count against your, well, technically, it shouldn't be counting against your 14 or your 11 because technically you don't have to log within 100 air miles. But any on-duty time is still going to drag away from your 70 because by law, any time spent making money, once you are a CDL driver, any time making money has to be logged as on duty not driving time. So even if you've got a part time job at McDonald's, you still have to log that as on duty not driving in your logbook legally because when you are done with that shift, 
you still have to take a 10 hour break before you can get back behind the wheel of a commercial vehicle. So um, to answer your 100 air mile question, just use your logbook as you have been doing. If you're doing a 100 mile trip, just simply do your 100 mile trip and uh, you know you, you, you might end up doing a recap or something like that. Uh, is it probably the answer you were looking for? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know exactly what you were expecting, uh, but I hope I've given you guys the best information on this as possible. Um, let's just double check, make sure I covered all of Fritz's questions. Fritz, my man, I hope I got all your questions, but um, let's see. Uh, personal advanced mode, blah, 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 hot shot, PC mode, uh, if the miles. Oh, pre and post trip. No, you are not required to do a pre or post trip inspection while using PC because PC is, uh, sorry, I thought that was one of our guys. Um, see, uh, PC is only to be used when you have been relieved of all of your commercial duties. So basically, when you are done with the end of your day, you, or you're not getting any mechanic work done, um, you're, you're, not, uh, you're not driving, you're not loading, you're not unloading. Uh, these are your commercial res responsibilities. Excuse me, your heartburn or something, apologize guys. Um, when all your responsibilities have been relieved off of you, that is when you're allowed to use personal conveyance. So if you do a pre-trip inspection in personal conveyance, DOT can either give you a form and manner violation or they can give you a 10 hour break violation, 14 hour clock violation, 11 hour violation, not 11 hour, that'd be driving, but a 14 hour clock violation, they could possibly give you a 70 hour violation, all depending on when you use that pre and post trip during personal conveyance because pre trips and post trips are to be done on duty, not driving. That is part of your commercial capacity and responsibilities. So therefore, do not do pre and post trip inspections in personal conveyance. Um, let's just check one more time. Short memory, I apologize guys. It's been a long day today. Uh, air miles, unplug, paper slips, inspection logs. Okay, so the only time that you are allowed to use a paper log and paper inspections is in the event that your e-log has malfunctioned. If you are having issues, your e-log's down, you drop and break your phone and it's the only device that you have for your, uh, your, your, your e-log, then that is when you have to use a paper log and paper inspection forms. Uh, a just side little tip, uh, real quick, all of you drivers that are using e-logs in Hotshot, most big truck companies know this rule, a lot of Hotshot guys seem to overlook this rule. Just because you have an e-log does not mean that you're not, you do, a, you know what, let's just say it like this, you are required to have a paper logbook, a minimum of 14 loose leaf paper logs and inspection forms or a simple uh, backup logbook, paper logbook. And that is required by DOT rules under the e-log mandates. You are required to have a backup logbook in the event that your e-log takes a dump on you. You can still properly log your current duty status. So all of you guys out there, if you do not have a paper logbook, Go run to the truck stop right now. Go buy you a backup logbook with inspection forms in there. They actually have them. It says backup ELD logbook. Uh, give me just a second. Come with me, as a matter of fact, and uh, we'll show you what it looks like real quick. It's on the passenger side, so I go to run the truck. Give me a second. Mm -hmm. ELD backup logs and an inspection report. They sell them in the truck stop. I think it was like four bucks. Four bucks saves you a ticket. If you have not been asked that question by DOT yet, you will be right around the time that uh, you're asked to do a level one inspection. Uh, I had one done uh, just last week in Colorado. Uh, and I'll take you guys with me one more time. Apologize for the jumping around. Here's my brand new CSA level one sticker. I passed. Did you pass? Because I passed. Anyhow. Uh, what, what, what are you honking for, buddy? Just go around. Figure it out. Sorry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, so yeah, if you, if you don't have one, go run and buy one right now because you're required to have one. If you're driving for a company, buy one, turn in the receipt. If they don't know about it, look up the rules online, fmcsa.com, uh, I think it is, or .org, one or the other. Uh, and they have the rules right there, you're required to have it. If you're driving for a company, they should be supplying you with that. Um, that should be about it for this video, guys. Uh, so remember what I said about the e-logs in your PC uh, mode. 
you have to stay logged in for this, okay? You have to be logged in at all times. It is one, required by DOT, two, it is a safety, it is a legal safety feature that allows you to be at that current location at that point in time legally. If you're running around town, grocery getting, movie watching and all that without using PC and you get into an accident in your commercial vehicle, you can lose that lawsuit because you are not legally allowed to be at that position at that point in time, which means that you are and most likely will be held accountable for that accident because you should have not have been there. Plain and simple. If you don't believe me, go ask an attorney who deals with big truck accidents all the time and he will tell you that that logbook is either going to save you or break you, one or the other. If you use PC the way you're supposed to be doing, then it's going to save you. I appreciate your guys' time. Again, appreciate all the love you guys are showing to the channel, all the support. Keep bringing on the questions, guys. Uh, I've got another video i got to do about logbooks and stuff, and then uh, somebody else wants to go over uh, uh, a sleeper uh, in the hot shot aspect and how, how that's properly, uh, pro blah, 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 properly utilized. Um, so we'll be going over all that here in the next couple of days. I'll be getting these videos out one by one. Uh, I was planning on getting this stuff out, you know, little by little, but uh, the recent blow up, uh, thanks to Toe Piglet, again, my man, appreciate you, bud, um, you know, putting me on his Hotshot News Network. I have just been just completely bombarded with uh, with uh, likes and questions and commentary and all this, and then it just, I appreciate everything, guys, because I have knowledge to give, I want to share, so don't be afraid to ask, all right? Again, love you guys out there, appreciate all the support, and we'll see you out here.